Suman Narayan, who's CEO at, at the Scient uh, Semiconductor Business, and Samir Vasan, who's the CEO of MIPS, join us. Suman, I'll start off with you. Could you explain to us what is the collaboration about and the timelines that you set for this collaboration and the scope of the outcome as well? Yeah, so the, the custom ASIC market, you know, is is estimated at about 35 to $50 billion. It's growing rapidly because systems today demand more than general purpose off the shelf integrated chips that vendors provide. They need tailored solutions and they need to integrate three things. There's integrated compute, there's analog and power electronics that really optimize for performance space and the ability to consume low power. This partnership that we have formed with MIPS basically addresses those three issues on integrated compute, on analog, and power electronics. Are you, are you trying to say, I mean, I, 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 th I think I heard you say that it is important to build semiconductors for the future. Are you trying to fill in a gap for a current product that is not there? Or is the market large enough that even if you make a product that is, uh, you know, there right now, there is a growing demand and therefore there won't be a problem for the products that you make? So, I mean, if you look at the collaboration that we bring with MIPS, it brings two complementary strengths. One is that MIPS, the Atlas RISC-V processor, is built for real-time safety critical applications and adds intelligent computes, compute for us. The science analog and power design expertise is essential for the embedded systems and energy management. The market itself is very large today for custom mixed signal analog chips. You know, again, to address the needs for, for power, high levels of integration, and offering differentiation for our end customers, especially if you look at places like data center power, where it's a huge problem today in efficiency. You know, if you look at the efficiency conversion from, you know, 800 volts down to the core voltage, you know, there's four conversions today that need to happen. That loses about maybe about 22% of efficiency. So with this sort of solutions that, Samir and I are putting together, I think we really have an opportunity to improve the efficiency in, in data center power, but also in industrial automation, especially around robotics, which combines compute and programmable power in an efficient form factor. Okay. Samir, can I bring you in on this conversation? Do you have the liberty of doing other partnerships as well? Part one of my question is that. And secondly, how soon does this partnership, uh, the, the magic of this partnership begin? Yeah, so, so Neer, first of all, uh, thank you for having me at NDTV Profit as well. Um, so MIPS, just very quickly, right? Uh, MIPS is not a new company. It's about a 40-year-old, very established semiconductor uh, CPU company. Um, and what, we have, what we're noticing is, firstly, um, the geographic interest in semiconductors is absolutely expanding, right? Historically, semiconductors have been in only certain geographies like North America, Europe, China, Japan. But what we're seeing is uh, the, the geopolitical um, aspects of what's going on in the industry and the supply chain. Semiconductors is something which broader set of countries are starting to invest in. And you have many players, many key players who are very well established in industries starting to expand into semiconductors. So as MIPS is starting, is, is continuing to build products, See, and I know Suman for, for many years, and, and, and this partnership was very natural, right? So it is something which complements the two companies. Um, CN is an expert in, in mixed signal analog power solutions. Power delivery is very fundamental to how um, AI at the edge, AI at the cloud, um, software-defined software vehicles. Power is very fundamental. But the thing is, power is somewhat always stuck in legacy. So while, while compute has moved rapidly, the intelligence around power, which delivers intelligent power to compute, is still lagging. And I think it's lagging because we've been trying to put very standard solution in problems which need custom solutions. So when the, when the opportunity presented itself with, with someone trying to do what he's doing at CN and me trying to do what I'm trying to do at MIPS, it kind of comes, comes together very nicely because we are, we are a compute company uh, we build solutions from small to large, which go into a variety of aspects of compute. They're a mixed signal analog custom silicon provider. And if we're able to put our minds together and come up with solutions for our joint customers where we bring bringing custom power solutions across a variety of markets, I think this can be a this can be a win-win for everyone. And no, so so and to answer your question, no, it's not exclusive. 
I mean, we are we are only just starting to expand our our, our footprint in in India from a business perspective. We have been um, expanding our R and D footprint. We have a very large team in Bangalore. We have a center in Pune as well. Um, so so obviously our roots roots are already in India, and um, I think we have the capability of working with customers like CN to to not only form solutions which are which are developed in India, but also bring a global perspective to what's happening in hyperscalers and, and automotive, what we see worldwide, back into the Indian market. Got it. Suman, so um, you saw the intent and that's why you guys came together, but not every intent results into a very large result. So is this, is this given your current size, is this a string of pearl strategy or could it become materially large for you? No, I think it. You know, we, we just want to add to what Samir said, right? I think this partnerships. It, it it takes it takes time to build partnerships. It takes time to build trust, and you know, you've got to make sure that there's complexity involved in the integration of these chips. So materially, this could become potentially very big for both of our companies as we kind of get into this endeavor. But I'd say this is one of the many things that we in Science Semiconductor have to do to get much bigger than where we are today. So the partnership is one aspect of it. You know, we, like you talked about before, making sure that we've got the right supply chain in place is a second aspect of it. And the third aspect of it is we have to have assurance of supply for our customers. So there is the build that portion of this that where we, Samir, Steam and our teams will work very closely with our engagement with our customers. But we also need to make sure that we have the supply portion of it kind of ironed out as well. So there are many things to work out you know, in the next couple of years to become, you know, potentially much larger than where we are today. One final question, Suman. Uh, you are a listed entity. I'd love to hear from you because you've been spun off into a different entity as well, right? And you, and you, and you hit that piece. So from where Scient is right now, how much of a scalability and size do you envision for the next three to five years for this unit? I mean, I can I mean, envision that, that we can easily grow 10 times where we are today. The market is big. You know, the semiconductor market is 600 billion. You know, I think the, the partnership that we're building really aligns closely with the government of India's semiconductor vision. It's to build a resilient, innovation-driven semiconductor ecosystem in India, which also serves domestic demand, like Samir talked about, where we have access to those markets, but also export value added high impact technology for the other markets as well. So I see a big potential for us, you know, as the market continues to move fast towards a trillion dollars in semiconductors. Wishing you both all the best. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for taking the time out and being with us and giving us your thoughts on this piece. Uh, well, that's Scient for you uh, in the partnership with MIPS and both the head on shows with us talking about this piece. <laughs>